Anyway, since I have so many of the haters' undivided attention, which I did not ask for, please stick around. We're gonna do a speed round. Before I get to the question speed round, though, if you are LGBTQIA plus 2S, if you are deconstructing or just an ally, please watch this full video, like, comment, go to the other videos, like those too. I need to get on the right side of the FYP because these teenagers with their hatred and their death threats are just too much. They're taking too much of my space. On to the speed round. Firstly, hell is not real. I have an entire series. If you want more information on that, I'm not going to be answering it here, but you can find it either in the playlist or literally in the YouTube compilation. Hell is made up as a fear tactic to get you to do exactly what a lot of you are doing in these comments, which is just complaining and saying, you're going to hell. It doesn't help your religion. It doesn't help your goals. And it's not helping you grow as a person. Next point. I don't care if you think that's blasphemy because that's not the original meaning of blasphemy. Blasphemy specifically talks about denying of the Holy Spirit, which cannot be done as it is today. Blasphemy refers to specifically if you were witnessing Jesus doing a miracle in the spirit, right? And then we're denying his divine authority. You are witnessing him say, turn water into wine. And you're like, that didn't happen. I still don't believe you're not God. That would be blasphemy. You witnessed it with your own eyes and are still denying it. That can't happen today. Me getting online and talking about the council of Nicaea or saying that the gospels were anonymous because by the way, we don't know who wrote the first four gospels. They came after the writings of Paul. Paul came after Jesus died. He never even met the man. Every writing we have in the Christian Bible is not contemporary to when Jesus was alive. Denial in his time would be blasphemy. Me discussing it, however, is not. The next point, why do you say Jesus is gay? Yes, I added that whiny voice because all the comments come in with emojis that are either crying or why are you doing this to us? Why attack us? Here's the thing, babe, I'm gay. I just happen to look like Jesus. The white version of Jesus that Da Vinci and Michelangelo and all the Renaissance painters made permeate the cultures. I use that look and the fact that I'm gay, notice my name is Jagezus, a made up word to represent my character, and then teach religious history. Not only do I teach religious history, I teach deconstruction, which means thinking critically about different things we were taught in evangelical Christianity growing up. Because here's the thing, I was also an evangelical Christian teen going out and spreading hate into the world, thinking that it was love by bringing people to Jesus, when in reality, you're pushing people away by judging and hating on strangers on the internet. It's not cute. Which brings me to my next point. If you don't like what I do here, I invite you to leave. It probably means that you're not emotionally ready to have these conversations. Your viewpoint of gay equals bad is not a convincing argument. And commenting it every single video, like some of you have, is not gonna make me straight somehow. As I said, I grew up as a gay Christian teen. I have been through all of the things that you're going to tell me, which is why I turned off my comments and am mainly approving them. Because unless you're coming here with a good faith argument, and you wanna actually ask questions or discuss or debate history, which is hard to do because history is history, then I'm not going to accept your comments because I have received thousands of comments in the past couple days that's just, you're going to hell, gay is bad, Leviticus 18, but what about Romans? Did you know that God made man and a female? We've heard it all. This isn't new. You're not spreading the good news. You're literally here to make an echo chamber and I'm not going to have any part of it. I'm only improving comments that have an original thought, show that you're emotionally ready to have a conversation, are asked in good faith and you curiously want to know and go back and forth. And then of course, people who are supporters because I need them in my life because this content is for them. This content is for the underdogs. It's for the people who want to learn without judgment. It's for the people who want to ask questions instead of being told by their pastor what to believe. People who want to deconstruct and move away from the religion as well as those who want to reconstruct and find love find a vision where everyone is accepted instead of trying to kick people out just because they're different than you. Let's be honest, you don't hate gay people. You're being used in a culture war in which people are telling you to hate this evil, sinful gay. And when you see me, I represent that image of what you're told to hate. You don't hate me. You don't know me. I've done nothing to you. Even if I were to make a video that's not the gay Jesus, the, implying me, if I made a video saying Jesus is very much a homosexual, that's still not a reason to hate me. You don't know Jesus was a homosexual. When was the last time you talked to Jesus? It says nothing in the Bible about Jesus' sexuality. In fact, 
If you want to go by canonical Jesus, he would be asexual, which would put him in a queer community. He would have no sexual attraction, no sexual desire, and he definitely wouldn't have acted upon it. Asexual it is, otherwise he wouldn't be sinless. One last speed round fact. Yes, I say Jesus is trans, I say Jesus is gay, I say Jesus is straight, I say Jesus is asexual, I say Jesus was a man, I say Jesus was non-binary, I say Jesus was a spirit. I say all the things because I look at different angles. That's what I do on this account. More importantly though, no, we do not have Jesus's blood. I see that one come up a lot in the comments. There's no 24 chromosome tested blood that we found. We don't have Jesus's body. We don't have Jesus's skeleton. We don't know where the cross is. No one's found Noah's Ark. These are all scientific discoveries that were made by a man named Ron Wyatt. Go ahead and Google him. He's made up all these discoveries. He's not an archeologist, a scientist. He does not have a degree in history. He literally made these things up and you continue to spread them. Even though, again, not a single scientist has seen the same things he has, he's found 80 different artifacts, like the Holy Grail, and even the Ark of the Covenant, and not a single other person alive has seen it. And not a single scientist has been able to recreate or validate what he's saying. He's the most discovered man. Stop spreading his lies, because again, you can Google his name and find out that that's misinformation that you're spreading. So just drop that whole argument. If you want to stick around and get more into the nitty gritty of questions like that, please do watch my other videos. Please do open up a conversation. But the hate crimes, the just derogatory language and threats needs to stop. I understand that you're underage and confused and your brain might not be caught up, but I invite you to go back to other pages that don't handle such topics that are so uncomfortable for you that you feel the need to lash out. Because here, I want to have respectful dialogue. And if you cannot do that, stop sending me to your Discord, just leave. It's that easy. And again, stop copy and pasting verses. We've all heard it. Come up with original arguments or don't be here, please. It's just making your religion look bad.